So true atonement is a watch date now because it's the next appointed time to be fulfilled, as I said in the in part three. Um, so the fulfillment of trumpets occurred with the sign of Revelation 12 on true trumpets in 2012. So atonement is the next appointment in the, in the Bible to be fulfilled, the next appointed time to be fulfilled. And this year, true atonement occurs exactly on Halloween, which is All Hallows' Eve. And it's also known as All Saints' Eve because um, it's the evening before All Saints' Day. And so I, I looked into this and I just thought it was kind of strange that it's become the custom to wear monster cons costumes on the evening before All Saints' Day. Because if it's a day for celebrating the saints, what does that have to do with monsters? It just seems like there's this duality to this holiday. On the one hand, it's a holiday for the saints, but it's also associated with death and horror. So, And then that duality is also... Um, it's, it seems to go along with this whole trick-or-treat thing, too, because it seems like a reference to the wheat and the tares. Um, you know, the tares have been deceived or tricked into believing the lie, and the, the wheat received the treat of rescue. Um, and the word Halloween itself actually means holy evening. And I thought it was so bizarre because, I mean, why has it become so associated with death and horror if the word itself means holy evening. And it, it only makes sense to me if it represents the day of the Lord, where the wheat and tares are separated. Because the day of the Lord is the asteroid impact. We've talked about that before. Um, I talk about that in, I think it's the Seven Trumpets video. And it's bad for those that are left on the earth who go through that tribulation, but it's good for those that are rescued. So it's both good and bad, just depending on which group you're in, whether you're in the group of the wheat or the tares. So it just seems like this holiday um, kind of resembles that. I don't know, but, that, but that's a watch date as well. And there's another thing that I want to point out in this speech. Um, she mentions the Berlin, the fall of the Berlin Wall. So let me just play a clip of that real quick. And it will be the 25th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. 25th. Okay. So I decided to look into that, and it turns out they started building the Berlin Wall in 1961, which is the year that Obama was born. So remember what Daniel 9 says from the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem until Messiah. Remember, Daniel always speaks in code, the lion, the leopard, the bear, the Messiah. Okay, so it says from that commandment, which we know occurred in 1947, from that until Messiah will be both seven Shabua and 62 Shabua. So we talk about this in the video, Daniel 9, fulfilled in 2009. So it's linked below if, you, if you're not familiar with that. Um, but seven Shabuah after that event in 1947, Obama was born. So that was the first fulfillment of that. Um, so please watch that video. I can't, I can't go into all the details of that, but that's one of the meaning of meanings of the words. It's seven plus seven, which is 14 years. Um, and then it says, you know, so seven plus seven and 62 sh Shavuot. And the street shall be built again and the wall in troublous times. So seven plus seven years right here after the commandment to restore Jerusalem in 1947 was 1961 when Obama was born. And the Berlin Wall was being built literally in the same month that Obama was born. And Wall Street, which, by the way, is 0.7 miles long, Wall Street was in the process of recovering during that same time period right here. So the stock market crash of 1929 ushered in the Great Depression, and during the 1930s, the financial district stagnated, and during the 1940s, it says there was still much less focus on Wall Street and finance like in 1946 and 47, it says stocks could not be purchased at all. But then the recovery of Wall Street started during the 1960s. 
And it says right here, and the street shall be built again and the wall in troublous times. So the Berlin Wall and Wall Street was being built during the 1960s, which is seven plus seven years after the commandment to restore Jerusalem and the UN decree to partition Palestine. So it was... It was and still is a troublous time for the Middle East. And that trouble started at the decree. So, I mean, just every single tiny detail of this verse has been fulfilled. It just blows my mind. And then it says, after 62 Shabua, Messiah will cut a covenant, because we know this word right here also means cut a covenant, but not for himself. So no, it wasn't for himself. It was for the whole world. It was a covenant for the whole world, a world covenant with the UN. And then he won the peace prize for promoting that treaty. Just like it says 62 Shavuot later right here. And it's a world treaty. It's not just with Israel. In fact, Israel has not signed this treaty yet. There, there are only four UN member states that have not agreed to the nuclear non-proliferation treaty and Israel is one of them so Israel has not signed this treaty yet um and then one more thing I wanted to point out in the speech she says she doesn't know whether it will be the G7 or the G20 let me just play a clip real quick so my hope and my wish for 2014 is that after those seven miserable years Weak and fragile, we have seven strong years. Now, I don't know whether the G7 will have anything to do with it <laughs> or whether it will be the G20. I certainly hope that the IMF will have something to do with it. So the seven strong years that she's talking about um, has to, again, it has to do with the beast, the strong years of the beast. And I just want to point this out really quick because we've talked about it before. But when it says in Revelation that the beast shall ascend out of the bottomless pit, We've talked about what that word actually means. It actually means intends to ascend out of the bottomless pit. So it says the beast intends to ascend out of the bottomless pit. Well, the bottomless pit is caused by the asteroid impact. It tells us that clearly in Revelation 9. The bottomless pit is caused by the asteroid impact. And the beast, it tells us later in Revelation, it says the beast intends to ascend out of that bottomless pit. So the beast in intends to rise out of the asteroid impact. As that's what Revelation is telling us. So if the beast believes that they are going into strong years, you see what I'm saying? That may be an indication that they are intending to arise soon and we know what that means that means asteroid impact but i'm not i'm not saying that's what's going to happen i'm just saying i'm watching that's all i'm watching very closely what's going to happen in the next three months so she says she didn't know she's talking about the you know the the strong years which we know are the strong years of the beast and she's saying she doesn't know whether that's going to um you know she says it lightly you know kind of joking around but still she says she doesn't know whether it's going to be the G7 or the G20. Well, you know, so I'm just, I'm watching those time periods. And we know the G7 occurred right here exactly on um, the Jewish Shavuot. And the G20 um, is occurring on November 15th and 16th. So that's going to be another watch period. Um, it occurs right here after true Sukkot. So, um That also brings up Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is, is right after that. And in Daniel 9, it says in the midst of the week, which we know we're in right now, it says in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and oblation to cease, which can translate to one of two things, either the Passover and the tribute will cease or the thank offering and the gift will cease. So the Passover in tribute seems to refer to the spring season and the One World Trade Center in New York, because we know that 
New York City has the highest concentration of Jews, second only to Tel Aviv, Israel. So that would actually make sense because we know that the tribute also refers to the One World Trade Center. Um, so that might be what it means. Again, you'd have to watch that video, Daniel 9 fulfilled in 2009 and Daniel 12 fulfilled in 2012 to understand what we're talking about here. But that is one possibility um, that it could be saying that in the midst of the seven year period, he will cause the, pa he will cause the Passover and tribute to cease. Or it might also mean Thanksgiving and Christmas because the thank offering and the gift that sounds so the thank offering can also be thanksgiving because this word right here you can see the word right here it means both passover and thank offering but thank offering is also another word for thanksgiving you can see in this word right here they use both the terms interchangeably thank offering or thanksgiving so um it might be saying he shall cause thanksgiving and you know, the Thanksgiving and the gift or Thanksgiving and Christmas um, to cease. We don't know. But so that's why, you know, I watch both. Um, but whenever this does happen, that's also when the rescue happens. The escape happens at the same time. Um, and so, like I said, it, it does appear that it's talking about the asteroid impact because it says, and the end thereof shall be with a flood. So this desolation appears, it's saying it will be caused by a flood. And we know the flood is caused by the asteroid hitting the sea. That's in Revelation. The, the stone hits the sea. That causes the waves to destroy Babylon. So it's a tsunami event. Um, and again, whenever that happens, the escape also happens at the same time, the rescue. Um, so anyway, we're watching that because we're in the midst of the seven years right now. Um, and so... You know, we're always watching both Thanksgiving and Christmas and then also Passover for that reason in the spring season. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, there are, again, there are tons of links below this video in the description box. Just click on show more um, if you, if you want to know more about any of the things that we've talked about. Um, I also have an ebook format that you can um, read as well that's also on Amazon and um, again I just I want to say thank you so much to those of you that are being supportive of this because as I've said before I cannot do this without your help so thank you so much and if, if you do want to be supportive um, I appreciate that so much the the link is below so um, I hope that you're all doing well I hope you benefited from this and um, I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.